coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. A new supersonic airliner. Boeing scores big bucks with major Delta Phi. Forgotten hero nominated for Congressional Medal of Honor. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. A new supersonic airliner. Boom Technology is undertaking the bold endeavor of bringing to market a 65 to 88 passenger airliner capable of 4,250 nautical miles at Mach 1.7. Named Overture, it is designed to operate at more than twice the speed of today's airliners. What's more, Overture intends to accomplish its feats of speed and endurance cleanly as the aircraft's four engines operate on sustainable aviation fuel. In its current near-final incarnation, the aircraft sports bleeding-edge innovations in aerodynamics, noise reduction, and overall performance. Each of Overture's four engines is fed by a highly efficient, streamline-traced, anti-symmetric inlet. Subject inlets, by providing a high degree of intake pressure consistency, allow the engines to operate on subsonic airflow at supersonic speeds. The use of four engines keeps the aircraft's weight and skin temperature balanced. Furthermore, utilizing four engines rather than two or three reduces the per-engine thrust requirement. Overture wing derives of the traditional delta wing found on most supersonic aircraft, but features a unique gull contour that drastically improves low-speed flight characteristics. Overture's contoured wing profile reduces sonic shockwave intensity and creates lift-inducing vortices along the entire wing planform. If Overture delivers the numbers Boom has projected, the airplane will provide a highly profitable addition to the fleets of global commercial airlines. Overture is slated to go into production in 2024. After the break, Gulfstream G800 makes its first international flight. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Gulfstream G800 makes its first international flight. Gulfstream's all-new ultra-long-range Gulfstream G800 has made its first international flight. The sleek airplane, which is slightly smaller but longer-legged than its G700 predecessor, departed Savannah and cruised without incident to the Farnborough International Air Show. The pair of Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines by which the G800 is motivated to a maximum cruise speed of 516 knots true airspeed are impressive in their own right, each producing 8% more takeoff thrust, 18,250 pounds per feet, than the BR-725 engines powering Gulfstream's G650 aircraft family. Textron Aviation to debut three first-timers at AirVenture. Textron will debut three new aircraft models in their first appearances at 2022's AirVenture event in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. The trio of new aircraft comprises Cessna Citation M2 Gen 2 and Turbo Skylane, as well as Beechcraft's King Air 260. The lineup of new airplanes speaks compellingly to Textron's comprehensive and competent spanning of general aviation's light utility, executive turboprop, and business jet sectors. Joint Raytheon Northrop Grumman hypersonic test vehicle flies again. 
Raytheon Missiles and Defense, along with Northrop Grumman, have successfully completed the second flight test of a scramjet-powered hypersonic air-breathing weapon concept, or HAWC, upon which the two companies have been collaborating at the behest of DARPA and the Air Force. The flight test built on data accrued during the prototype missile's first flight and significantly advanced the nascent weapon system toward its maker's shared goal of fielding a world-leading hypersonic munition. The test met all primary and secondary objectives, including explorations of airframe robustness and tactical range capabilities. DoD eyes significant F-35A buy as price increase looms. In a move that bodes poorly for the U.S. and world economies, the Department of Defense is reportedly nearing an agreement with Lockheed Martin for the production and delivery of approximately 375 F-35A fighter jets over the next three years. The purported deal lends substance to murmurings of a coming price increase for the most common F-35 variant in the wake of sluggish orders and worsening inflation. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Boeing scores big bucks with major Delta buy. A more confident Boeing tells us that Delta Airlines will update its single-aisle fleet with the 737 MAX. In a signing ceremony at the Farnborough International Air Show, the company said Delta is ordering 100 737-10 jets, selecting the largest member of the 737 MAX family, with options for an additional 30 airplanes. The 737-10 will provide Delta Airlines with reduced fuel use and emissions by 20-30% to 30% compared to the airplanes it replaces. The jet can cover 99% of single-aisle routes around the world, seating up to 230 passengers with a maximum range of 3,300 nautical miles. As part of this announcement, Delta Airlines has also contracted with Boeing Global Services for a full interior reconfiguration of 29 next-generation 737-900ERs in its fleet. This will support having these airplanes ready to enter Delta Airlines' 2025 summer schedule with fully refreshed interiors. Atlanta-based Delta Airlines operates a fleet of more than 850 mainline aircraft, including more than 450 Boeing 717s, 737s, 757s, and 767s. After these messages, Forgotten Hero nominated for Congressional Medal of Honor. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Forgotten Hero nominated for Congressional Medal of Honor. We know Oshkosh is but days away, but listen carefully, this is important. In the bleak November of 1952, Navy pilot E. Royce Williams and his Grumman F-9F-5 Panther engaged and defeated no fewer than seven Soviet MiG-15 fighters over the Sea of Japan. On November 18, 1952, Williams and three other F-9F pilots launched from the USS Oriskany in the midst of a blizzard. Their mission? Intercept seven Soviet MiG-15 fighters. Unlucky events left Williams and his Panther alone against the MiGs. Williams exchanged gunfire with his Soviet counterparts, all seven of them. The MiG-15s were faster and more maneuverable than Williams' F-9F-5, but the Grumman could outturn them, so that's what Williams did. Williams urged his Panther through a very tight, wings-vertical right turn and watched the lead MiG flash past his tail. For 30 minutes, Williams stomped rudder and slammed ailerons, all the while firing as MiG after MiG flashed through his gun sight. Turn and turn some more, fire and pray. Williams shot down four of the MiGs and escaped the rest. His Panther was badly damaged. That Williams managed to bring the airplane to safe landing is something of a miracle in itself. 
Flight deck crews counted 263 holes blasted through the Panthers fuselage. Congress has finally moved to award Williams the Congressional Medal of Honor. He deserves it. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.